After trailing the groups you mentioned, it's obvious that they each have a few people among them who aren't just looking for you, but purposely seeding unrest in the population and maybe pushing for an uprising. Then we need to stop it. Here is a description of everyone we found. Give me your map. There. I've marked every place you can find them. Shouldn't be hard for you to get them now. back home one piece of shit at a time until their big shit boss finally gets the message they ain't wanted here. It's as long as it doesn't push Victor to send twice as many people back. Not a chance now that Danjolo can't deny that ASC's a problem here anymore. No, now he's gonna be forced to deal with them.
Zachariah. I was just starting to worry. What for? Bad news, I'm afraid. The ASC's not only in Noctis, but they're starting to threaten its safety. I know you did what you could to get rid of their spies, but if you stay here, they'll come back. And now we may be open to a direct attack from Abundance. I'm sorry, Zachariah. They're after you and your friends. I can't risk the safety of all my people for just you. So you're turning your back on us? No, no. I would never turn my back on a friend. I set a meeting for you with the Technomancers from Aurora. Their arms are open. You'll be safer from Victor with them by your side. You just can't stay here. Why are you helping me? A scratch on the back for what I hope will be a long-term relationship, Mr. Mancer. They'll meet you under one of their shadow paths. Take the map. You'll be well received. Now get going. As soon as you can gather your things and friends together. The longer you stay, the more danger those of us around you face. How'd you manage to get in touch with Aurora's Technomancers? It wasn't easy, but we have agents in all of the corporation cities. The equivalent of Nisha, but not as easy on the eyes, lives in Shadowlair and was our point on this little mission. Their Technomancers are quite knowledgeable, powerful, and I assume the idea of having one of their counterparts from Abundance join them and give them a little upper hand probably put a few smiles on their faces. But their chief's name... It's slipping my mind. Profanity? No, something more. Uh, chastity? Promiscuity? Generosity? Yeah, that's the one. Their chief's named Generosity. I think. He's quite chummy with the Dowser wisdom, I hear. Shouldn't be too hard for him to make you feel welcome. So set your mind at ease. back to Aurora. This is the definition of insanity. Do you think they know how many times I've attacked them? I'm really sorry, Zack. I'm sure Dandolo would have preferred to keep us all in Noctis. It makes me uncomfortable, but we can't keep Noctis under Victor's crosshairs. He wouldn't hesitate to wipe it off the face of Mars just to get his hands on you. I don't know about that. Big Bad Victor is definitely a manipulative rat, but he's gonna have a lot of trouble wiping out a city like Noctis using a couple of harebrained schemes. To think, after all these years, I'm forced to join the enemy. Disconcerting, to say the least. I don't want to make light of a bad situation, but doctors and scientists are welcome there with open arms. And pathetic drunks? How are they welcome? Do the corporations differ all that much? I know you were raised to think so, but as a mutant, I only see humans bickering over petty squabbles. The differences don't matter now, especially since they're welcoming you with open arms. Supposedly, Technomancers are treated well. Here's the truth. I know this transition's gonna be hard for you. 
Aurora may ask you to fight against your former corporation. You may end up on the battlefield against men and women you knew from before. At least there's no chance of coming up against an old Technomancer buddy, because they're all with you. Well, except for that Snake Allen. That doesn't really matter, right? What bothers me is that they're gonna commandeer my baby. I'm warning you, Zack. I like you, but if they try to take my rover, I'm out. So fucking out! It's me and my rover or nothing. Release him. Let him serve as our messenger. I hope, Zachariah, that you'll forgive this little charade. But it was a means to an end, necessary to ensure peace of mind, the safety of Noctis, and those who will now welcome you. The ASC now believes you uprooted yourself to Aurora, where they will never go looking for you. So, keep a low profile here, and you'll have nothing to fear. I hope that suits your needs. To send you to Aurora was never really an option. The political climate is not exactly conducive to a Technomancer. And here you have Phobos, who's offered to open the doors of his home to you. But I'll leave him to explain this better. Your brothers and sisters will follow you. Be well, Zachariah. I got ripped off. Dandolo had planned everything from the start. The costumes, the rover repair, and he even let Victor settle down without a word. All of that just to organize a fake meeting. What did I tell ya? A douchebag with real nice clothes is still a douchebag. Even though he totally fucked us over, I gotta say, what you just did back there? Real classy. Victor the Dictor's probably having a little tantrum. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing, Amelia. Go south. My people's refuge isn't far away, but you have to know where to look or you'd never be the wiser. What's it like? Magical city hidden away in a floaty island or something? Nothing like that. It's a valley, or perhaps more accurately, a crater. There is vegetation there unlike anywhere else, truly something you've never seen before. A secret place that's one of a kind? What the fuck are we waiting for? I wonder, how does your valley city, state, whatever you call it, work. How's the ecosystem? Do you all take turns farming? And is there a monarch? I, I mean, do you have princes? Or do you have a people's assembly, like abundance? We avoid centralizing power, so we have orators. Orators come from the people and speak for the people. And if majority rules, then a decision is accepted. As we get larger, we will need a chief, especially in times of conflict, but it will be up to the people to elect a candidate. I'm used to not being welcome wherever I go, but this place, won't we be despised for who we are? After what they've all been through, the grudges they hold against mankind, are more than understandable. But I'm worried, Phobos. Will your support be enough to grant us safe passage? 
I believe so. But I'll also need to ask for Scum's support. He's our best orator, so as long as he's on board, it won't be a problem. Farewell, Noctis. I'm sorry to have to leave you this way. I'm sorry, Nisha. Stop. It's not your fault. It's Victor's. I just hope... I can come home soon. You can do your business here, but you cannot enter the valley. No human is allowed there. There must be a way to make an exception. Sorry, Phobos. You know that I respect you, but I am following orders. To be honest with you, it is for your friend's safety. I do not know how they would welcome them in there. Maybe if another speaker supported them. I will go see Scum. I managed to see him. He offered me something. Scum is an important figure here, one of the great speakers. People listen to him. If he supports you, you will be able to get in without being lynched, but he wants you to prove yourself by helping a group of mutants. From what he hears, a group of mutants have escaped a labor camp. They have not arrived here, though, so he fears they have found trouble. We will need to find them and see what has gone wrong. Bring them safely to the valley, and you will not only earn their support, but scums as well. Quite the asset. Alright. Do we know how they were supposed to get here? The shortest and safest route to take is the canyon, right here. Let's go see what happened to them. Wowee! Roll up a fucking red carpet, why don't you? Don't hold it against them. These are mutants who escaped slavery and abuse. It makes sense that they aren't completely pleased that their torturers have come up to their doorstep. Fuck that! I never tortured anyone. Never made one of them my slave. But you lived in the system that allowed it. Like all of us. Except Phobos, of course. 